For gay men who want to be dads, it can be quite a process. It's likely going to take a lot of planning, potentially a ton of time and money, and it can be really stressful. So that moment when you finally find out you are going to be a dad, it can just be surreal. So I wanted to talk to some other gay dads to find out what that moment was like for them. The moment we found out we were going to be dads, uh, we actually started off as foster parents. So we got a call. I was actually in class and uh, Matt was by himself. And we got a call that we were going to get a baby. When we went live, we were waiting for, um, you know, a call from a birth mother. And really, we just didn't know when that call would happen. And then all of a sudden, we got an email from a girl that was five weeks pregnant. Yeah, she's like five, five weeks, weeks pregnant. <laughs> when I got home and the worker, the placement worker, came and brought him here, he walked up to both of us and he gave us these big, warm hugs. And it's just... His hug, the hug was so genuine and sweet that we just knew that he was going to be our son. Uh, well, we were in New Delhi and it was pretty, pretty amazing um, feeling actually. Like I, as soon as we found out that we were having a girl, um, I completely bursted into tears. Uh, the ultrasound from the second one, we found out that we were having not only one, uh, but two, uh, two babies. And uh, I remember looking over at Ryan and, and just breaking out in tears, you know, just with the the joy and the excitement that it's finally, our dream has finally come true. Uh, the day that we were about to get our license, we had finished everything up, was the day that we had gotten a call from our agency saying that um, there was a placement ready for us. He was uh, in the hospital, 11 days old. All sorts of emotion ran through our heads. We didn't know really how to take it. Uh, I kind of panicked in class. like. I had to tell my teacher, you know, oh, I have an emergency kind of a thing. But Matt was like uh, scrambling to call our parents to like get stuff ready. So it was a pretty, pretty exciting moment. I can just tell you that for me, time stopped. Like I, I was, I was just so excited and nervous and scared. And then about eight months later, um, we got the call at midnight saying she was in labor mm -hmm. and we needed to get to Kentucky immediately <laughs> and it changed both of our perspectives on life and then another tidbit was our son cam and eric actually have the same birthday we do <laughs> so it just felt like the universe aligned and he was meant to be with us <laughs> yeah it was a pretty surreal feeling i still don't think we really got the whole thing was real but yeah it's pretty amazing and i was like oh shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reality <laughs> Yeah. Reality set in. <laughs> but like totally a joyous oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we were in the living room, we cut the cord. I mean, we got to, it was almost like we were pregnant. We got to experience the whole thing with her. My husband and I still remember so vividly that moment when the adoption agency called us to tell us a birth mom had chosen us and we were going to be dads in three months. And two years later, we got another call from that agency saying the same birth mother was pregnant again and asked if we could adopt that next child as well. We feel so blessed and those are moments that we will never forget. So if you're a gay man and you're hoping to be a gay dad one day, let me just say, hang in there. It can and it will happen. And I can't wait until you have that same moment when you officially find out you're gonna be a dad. Thanks so much for watching. And if you wanna participate in a future Hey Dads, Gay Dads video, please, Shoot me an email or send me a message over Instagram. And I look forward to chatting with you.